Let's start with you. How did you feel about today's primary? Well, I'll be honest with you. I've been a Trump voter in the past, but this time around, I'm Dean Phillips. Dean Ooh, 24. Look at com. this. Okay. It's, it's He's the okay. only Democrat that talks about the border, and that's my number one issue. Well, and Trump does too. President Trump's been talking about it. Well, that was a strange pivot. At least he's better than this guy. You've talked, about, you've talked about trying to unify the party. How do you bring these Nikki Haley voters, some of whom voted for you in 2020, but say they don't want to now? Oh, they'll all vote for me How again. do you bring them back into the They're going to all vote for me again. They're going to all vote for me again, everybody. And I'm not sure we need too many. Donnie, you're going to need them. A little bit. A little bit. But they don't look like they all want to come back to you. Anything but Trump. <laughs> that was your priority. <laughs> That's my priority. Is that the biggest reason you supported Nikki Haley? Yeah, I'd say. Because of Donald Trump? Yes, yeah. And I have no problem with the ladies running things. <laughs> I have one here. But at least you'll still have these folks. He could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with it. <laughs> Explain that to me. That's amazing. I mean, it's, look, uh, he's the only man we've ever had in my lifetime that stood for America as president. Now, I was a George Herbert Walker Bush man and all that, but... They don't anybody compare to Donald Trump. He loves this country, and that's why I love him. Well, folks, things got interesting at the New Hampshire primaries when Donald Trump pretty handily beat Nikki Haley, and he thought she's going to get out of the race, and yet she did not. She stayed in, which makes it exciting because now they're going to go after each other. Now she's started to talk about how old he is. We've seen these incidents now where he was talking about Nancy Pelosi being in charge of security in um, on January 6th. And it says, instead of saying Nancy Pelosi, he said Nikki Haley. By the way, he was the one who was able to send in the guards, but he didn't. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. The fact that he kept calling uh, Nikki Haley Nancy Pelosi, there was that. Anyone who's watched any of his speeches recently, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo going on. Maybe he's got long-term COVID. I don't know what he's got going on. His age, he's not hes not much younger than Joe Biden. Just because he's got a little more energy doesn't mean he's young, uh, that, he's, that he's actually more competent. Um, and who knows what kind of pills they give him. I'm guessing they give him Adderall or something to have all that, you know, the ability to keep going and talking and just yap, yap, yap. He's on something. He's on uppers. That's probably why he's got so much energy. But too much energy means we get to hear what he's, what's on his mind. And what's on his mind is a lot of mumbo jumbo. And so Nikki Haley's starting to go after him. That's going to be interesting, exciting. The odds of her winning are pretty low um, because we saw that guy who said, you know, Donald Trump could stand at the White House and shoot somebody. I still support him. So he's got a hardcore base in the Republican Party of people who don't care. They really don't care. Basically what he's done, because what that guy was saying when he said, oh, he's the only one who's really cared about America. The truth is Donald Trump has not cared about America. Donald Trump has cared about Donald Trump. We all know that. Um, but what he has done is he's, he's allowed people like this guy who was talking to think that we're going to go back to a time when white men ran the country and they were in charge and they were in power and women and people of color all knew their place and they didn't want too much and we're going to go back. Make America great again. The idea of again. The way it used to be back in the old days. Um, let's get rid of these immigrants because that's what the biggest problem is. By the way, the biggest threat to Americans are Americans. We shoot each other. Uh, immigrants, statistically speaking, commit fewer crimes than the uh, American citizens. So that's just another side point. Um, and then you saw earlier in these clips the former Trump voters who don't want to vote for Trump. So the one thing Trump's going to do in the in the general election, if he doesn't end up convicted, that's the one Hail Mary that Nikki Haley has is a conviction. If a conviction comes up, then there may be some Republicans who go, wow, this automatically will mean that we'll lose the general election. Let's vote for Nikki Haley. By the way, Nikki Haley would probably be a better candidate in the general election, no matter what the polls are saying. The truth is Donald Trump inspires people to come out. And what he's going to do is he's going to inspire Democrats to come out. Because most people that are sane know that this guy is a dictator waiting to happen. Uh, they know that he committed a crime. They know that he tried to overthrow democracy. He does not care. He doesn't care if he lets loose his uh, 
white supremacists that showed up, your, your, your uh, proud boys and oath keepers and all those types. And there's a lot of those types out there that are waiting and supporting Donald Trump. So where are we? Where we're at is it's going to be exciting. The odds of Nikki Haley winning the primary are very low, the Republican nomination. But, but at least she'll keep going. Hopefully she'll stay in as long as she's got some donors that feel that they can run ads that can chip away at Donald Trump's lead. Um, she can start attacking. It'll be interesting to watch her actually attack him. So it, it might be a little too too little too late because if you recall in the first debate, they said, uh, would you vote for Donald Trump even if he got convicted? And she said yes. And then they said, uh, would you uh, pardon him? And she said yes. She's, she's basically been kissing his boots for a long time, as have all the others. Anytime one of them lost, they just fell right into line. Tim Scott the other day, uh, was at one of the Trump's rallies with Vivek Ramaswamy, and they're just back there, just licking, just licking his butt. I mean, that's what it is. It's sad. It's sad to see grown men do that, but a lot of them have. Uh, we saw it with Lindsey Graham. We saw it with Kevin McCarthy. They all fall in line because they all realize that this Republican base that they've created is a non-logical base who has found this guy, Donald Trump, who's willing to tell them anything they want to hear and not able to deliver, but willing to tell them anything they want to hear and let out their inner racist, let out their inner uh, misogynist, let out their inner fill in the blank. And uh, here we are. So I'm going to sit back, get some popcorn, watch Nikki Haley go after Trump, watch Trump go after Nikki Haley with his dog whistles of how she's uh, Indian and how she's not American and all this other stuff. Maybe maybe he'll ask for her birth certificate. Let's take a let's take some bets right now. What's he gonna do? He's gonna say, "I want to see her birth certificate." She wasn't even born here. What's he gonna say about Nikki Haley? What's is he's gonna say that uh, that uh, he's gonna find something about her about her being a woman and saying, "Well, you know, once a month, you know, you bleed once a month, and therefore you shouldn't be president." Something like that's going to come out of Donald Trump. We're all waiting for it. We're waiting to see what happens. Very exciting. Um, unfortunately, we hear. I wish we didn't have this, in all honesty. I'm tired and sick and tired of Donald Trump. I can't believe he's still uh, running. I can't believe that he's the leading candidate for the Republican Party. And I cannot believe that he's not in an orange jumpsuit in jail right now. I'm comedian Maz Jobrani. Follow me on social media. Come see me live. I'm touring all over the country. I'll be in Boston, New York, Austin, Texas. MazJobrani.com. Check me out. Let's have a laugh. And let's enjoy the next few weeks as they go after each other.